Hey everybody, Alicia and Josh here with Terra Drift and a whole lot of backpacking pillows. Eight backpacking pillows. And we tested them all so you don't have to. It was a hard job, all that napping, but we think it was worth it. If only to help you find folks find a backpacking pillow that's perfect for you and your camping style. So let's dive right in, shall we? First things first, why backpacking pillows and what makes a good one? Well, we're sticking with backpacking pillows because if you're just car camping, well, you can just use your pillow from home if you want. But when you're backpacking, you want something small, light, and packable, and all of these fit the bill. Depending on your backpacking style, of course. So let's break each of these down, starting with the non-inflatable varieties. Why would you want a non-inflatable pillow? Honestly, they're often the more comfortable option since, you know, it more closely resembles your pillow at home. I don't use an inflatable pillow at home, so no. Nah. Makes sense, right? Also, if you're worried about your pillow deflating mid-trip, a filled pillow offers peace of mind in that department. It does. Downside, they're usually bigger and heavier than inflatable pillows, so there's definitely a comfort to weight trade-off. But if you're okay with that, these are the way to go. First, the Thermarest Compressible Pillow. Now this particular one is an older model that we've had for a few years, but it's always been a fave. This one's the small version, but there are more sizes. But it might be one of the comfiest, and when you're ready to pack it up, it compresses and sort of rolls into itself for storage. While ultralighters might not prefer this one, it weighs 7 ounces and obviously doesn't pack down super small. Those who put a premium on comfort in the backcountry will definitely want to take it though. Bonus, the cover is made from 60% recycled polyester. The foam inside is upcycled from the brand Sleeping Pad production and it comes in four sizes plus it's washable. It's also great for back, stomach, and side sleepers plus any pillow huggers out there. You know who you are. Moving on to the Sea to Summit Foam Core. This one is small but mighty. Maybe too mighty, as in overstuffed. Eh, so says Josh. But this one is excellent for side sleepers. But maybe not people who move around a lot, because your head will probably just roll off, because it's not huge. It is just a size regular, though. There's also a large and a deluxe size. But at 7.7 .7 ounces, you may not want to go too much larger if you're trying to keep the pack weight down. That said, it does have some cool features, like Sea to Summit's pillow lock system that integrates with the brand's sleeping pads and keeps your pillow in place all night long. Super cool. It also has this handy little pocket here where you can keep stuff like an eye mask or earplugs or other sleepy time stuff all nestled together with your pillow, which is pretty cool. Totally cool. Plus, it's filled with upcycled foam offcuts from Sea to Summit's self inflating sleeping pads, which reduces waste. A definite bonus. As for what type of camping it's best suited for, it's a bit too firm and small for hammocking, so if that's what you're looking for, maybe look elsewhere. But if hammock is your jam, let's discuss the Kamek Puffin, which brings us into the inflatable pillow category. This guy is actually designed for hammock camping. As in, the way the baffles are placed makes it perfect for keeping your head from rolling off the pillow when you're not sleeping on a flat surface. You may not think that sounds important, uh, but trust us, it is. After testing all of these pillows in a hammock situation, none of the other inflatables worked quite as well. On top of that, design feature, it also comes with shock cords that attach the pillow to the top of your hammock. Why? To keep your pillow from sliding down under your back or falling onto the ground in the middle of the night. That's why. On top of all of that, the stretch fabric is nice and this pillow is also comfy for ground sleeping in addition to hammocking, though it's better for back sleepers since it's not super tall. It only weighs in at three ounces with everything included though, so that's nice. Next up, the Thermarest Airhead. It's more compact than the Thermarest compressible pillow and actually quite cushy. Plus, it has a soft removable cover that functions as a very comfy pillowcase, especially since there's a layer of synthetic insulation in there, which actually makes a huge difference comfort-wise. Still a bit on the heavy side at 5.6 ounces, 
Um, this is the small, by the way, but comfort is occasionally, as we said, worth the wait. And it's good for back and even side sleepers because it's a bit taller. Bonus, the valve is on the side instead of the bottom, so it's easy to let some air out if you need to adjust in the middle of the night. And honestly, this might be my favorite inflatable of the bunch. Moving right along to the Lux pillow from Climate. It is, as described, Lux. I'm talking as comfy as inflatable pillows get right here. But it's also bigger. It's a bit heavier than the Airhead at seven ounces, but it's super comfy and quiet. Perhaps the quietest in the lineup. The pillow even contains a polyester fill for extra loft, and the soft cover is removable for easy watching, so. It's obviously nice and wide and the best choice for those who don't mind giving up the space in their pack for a really comfy pillow that offers a sleep experience most like your pillow at home, at least for an inflatable. I wouldn't try it in a hammock though. This thing is too big for that nonsense. Yeah. Shall we move into the truly ultralight inflatable pillows then? Let's. This is the Climate Pillow X. It is very small and very light. And yes, as you might've noticed, it also has a very unique shape. That's on purpose. It helps keep your head centered on the pillow if, like, I don't know, you roll around a lot at night. Plus, it only weighs 2.5 ounces and packs down into a teeny tiny stuff sack. It is best for back sleepers, as it's a little wonky when you turn onto your side, and it doesn't work perfectly in a hammock. But it does offer a bit more in the way of neck support than most other pillows, just because of that innovative shape. It might be the noisiest pillow on the list though, so throw an extra shirt over it for some sound dampening and a bit of extra comfort while sleeping in the back country. Upside, it's also the least expensive. Next up, the big Agnes AXL Air, tiny and super duper light, as in the lightest on this list at 1.6 ounces. But it still feels durable. Plus the outer fabric is actually pretty soft to the touch and it's stretchy so it's comfortable and the design actually helps keep your head from rolling off. So that's nice. It's likely gonna be comfortable for back and side sleepers, honestly, and it fits perfectly in the pillow pocket of the Big Agnes sleeping bags. And I gotta say, we love a good integrated sleep system. But moving right along, last but not least, the Sea to Summit Eros. It's another ultra light inflatable with some pretty cool features. Namely the same Sea to Summit innovative pillow lock system that we mentioned earlier. But if you don't have a Sea to Summit sleeping pad, it's still a very comfy pillow. It rocks a bit when you turn your head from side to side, but it's not too loud. The micro adjust valve is on the bottom though, which makes it a bit hard to micro adjust when you're all tucked into your sleeping bag. And the fabric on the top is pretty soft, but you could also turn it over for an even softer feel if you're not using the pillow lock system. It's best for tent camping though, as your head kind of just rolls off in a hammock. I mean, these are all great pillows. I'd sleep on any of them, honestly, but if I have to choose, I'd pick the Thermarest compressible pillow or the Kamek Puffin for hammock camping and the Big Agnes or the Sea to Summit inflatable for backpacking. Uh, totally agreed on the Thermarest or Kamek for hammocking. I liked the Airhead best for tent camping or the Lux, honestly. I'm obviously okay with carrying more weight if it's gonna mean a more comfortable sleep. And I'm more of an ultra light packer, so that explains my picks. Although for you true ultra lighters out there, there's one more option. A stuff sack. I mean, if you're really counting grams or you're on a budget and you absolutely don't want to bring a single unitasking piece of gear, a stuff sack will do nicely. You can even get one that's fleece lined on the inside so that you can turn it inside out and it's super soft. This is just some random stuff sack, obviously a kind of large one. You can use one of any size, but if you're already carrying a stuff sack full of clothes, especially if you have a puffy jacket or something fluffy in there, it makes a great pillow for zero extra weight. Well, great is debatable. Yeah, yeah. As with <laughs> all pillows, it's all about sleep style and personal preference. So pick whichever pillow is right for you. Hopefully, we made that decision easier for you. Well, I hope so. Otherwise, this was a huge waste of time. <laughs>
<laughs> but we'll put a link to all of these pillows in the description below, as well as deets about weight and size and all of that for a quick one glance info sheet. And if you did find this video helpful, maybe think you found your next favorite backpacking pillow, yeah. give it a thumbs up. Then ring the bell and hit subscribe. That way you won't miss any of our future gear reviews and very helpful tidbits in the future. Then follow us on Insta, Facebook, and Twitter. We're at Terradrift. And check out Terradrift.com for written content like how-tos, destination guides, and yes, more gear reviews. And as always, thanks for watching. Sleep well out there and wander on. I'm a big fan of the stuff sack, personally. It's a little lumpy I, for me. I suppose it I can mean, be lumpy. It kind of depends on what you have to fill it with. I'm just, but, you know. I'm a tiny person. And frankly, I don't want to carry more weight than I have to. So, zero extra weight. Although a pillow does make a big difference. It does. Honestly. It does. In the backcountry. So, if it's not a long trip, then I've got the space. All right, I'll bring along the pillow. Yeah. I suppose. Absolutely. One of these, probably. Yeah because they're light, they weigh nothing. It's true. Yeah. Now, um, if you'll excuse me, I would like to nap. Here we go. Um, Pre-dinner nap. How about this? You go make me tacos, and I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Unfortunately, because these are so light, they don't make great pillows for a pillow fight, but the Lux is actually, oh, mm -mm. has a large surface area, so it's actually great for that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs>